621 now, if you've been to Taco Bell lately, you might have noticed an important item missing from the menu. You think you're biting into a cheesy, craveable taco, but what if I told you that your Taco Bell order is more science project than fast food? What if I told you that your nacho cheese has more in common with a chemistry lab than a dairy farm? That your seasoned beef was seasoned more with marketing than actual meat? Buckle up, because what you're about to learn might make you look at that crunch wrap supreme in a whole new light. Welcome to Frugal Pro, and today we're going behind the tortilla to uncover what Taco Bell really serves. From microwaved mystery meat and fake grill marks, to cheese made with wood pulp and a side of bacteria, this is the video Taco Bell hopes you never watch. Let's start with the so-called beef. Taco Bell proudly claims that its seasoned beef is 100% USDA premium. But here's the twist. That 100% beef only makes up 88% of the product. The rest? It's a Frankenstein mix of lab ingredients you didn't ask for and probably can't pronounce. We're talking maltodextrin, soy lecithin, modified cornstarch, and something called torula yeast. Each of these additives has a job, emulsify, bind, flavor, but none of them belong in your definition of beef. Maltodextrin is basically corn that's been processed within an inch of its life. It binds everything together, giving Taco Bell meat its signature squish. Soy lecithin keeps the oily mess from separating into a sad puddle. Modified cornstarch? That's the body double pretending to be muscle tissue. And Tarula yeast? It's flavor makeup. A meat impersonator added to real meat to make it taste more like meat. Think about that. They're flavoring beef to taste beefier. And despite all this doctoring, the USDA still allows them to slap the 100% beef label on it. Because in food labeling, the truth is as stretchy as their chalupa dough. But hold up, we're just getting started. Next on the list, the cheese. You'd think shredded cheddar would be a pretty straightforward situation. Milk, cultures, maybe a dash of salt. But not in Taco Bell land. Here, the cheese is as engineered as a space shuttle. Take that neon orange nacho cheese sauce. It contains not just milk, but a cocktail of preservatives, emulsifiers, thickeners, and stabilizers. Sorbic acid keeps it from growing mold in storage. Sodium citrate gives it that silky texture, so it stays liquid long after it should have been solid. Modified food starch helps it survive multiple temperature changes like it's training for a triathlon. And cellulose? That's a plant fiber used to prevent clumping. Fun fact, it often comes from wood pulp. Yes, your cheese has sawdust. And let's not forget about the color. That glowing orange hue? Not natural. It's artificially enhanced to scream cheese, even when your taste buds should be whispering run. Taco Bell's three cheese blends also get the same treatment. Part dairy, part lab experiment. The goal? Make it look and taste like cheese while cutting costs and extending shelf life. If your cheese can outlive your goldfish, that's not food, that's survival gear. And don't even get me started on how it's all prepared. Spoiler. Almost nothing is cooked fresh in store. Taco Bell kitchens are more like food assembly lines. The beef? Boiled in plastic bags. The beans? Dehydrated flakes stirred into hot water like instant mashed potatoes. Even the rice is pre-cooked and shipped in, only to be reheated on site. Employees aren't chefs. They're bag dunkers. Food comes in sealed pouches, gets tossed in boiling water, and squirted onto your burrito. Grill marks on the chicken? Fake. Applied at the factory like temporary tattoos. Your food is cooked, cooled, vacuum sealed, shipped, stored, reheated, and then finally wrapped in a tortilla and served with a smile. And this industrialized reheating process doesn't just kill freshness. It opens the door to contamination. When ingredients are cooked, cooled, shipped, and reheated across multiple stages, the margin for error skyrockets. If the temperature drops just a few degrees during storage or transit, 
bacteria like Salmonella, Listeria, and E. coli get their invitation to the party. That crunch wrap supreme you love? It may have taken a detour through the danger zone. And it's not just speculation. Health inspection reports from Taco Bell locations across the country read like a horror novel. Improper food storage? Check. Cross-contamination between raw and cooked items? Regularly flagged? Mold in ice machines? More common than you'd think. In one incident, inspectors found raw chicken stored above lettuce. A cross-contamination nightmare that turns your healthy topping into a biohazard. Rodent activity? You bet. Several locations have been cited for mouse droppings in food prep areas, with some even documenting live rodents scurrying near the fryers. Imagine grabbing a late-night chalupa while a rat holds a board meeting behind the counter. And let's talk about employee hygiene. Glove usage violations and failure to wash hands between tasks are shockingly routine. Fast turnover and lack of training mean that many workers barely get a crash course in food safety before they're wrist-deep in nacho cheese. Night shifts, especially, run on skeleton crews, often with minimal supervision, which means that the food you order at 11 p.m. might be prepped in conditions that would make Gordon Ramsay pass out. Even when protocols are in place, equipment malfunctions take hygiene down fast. Broken coolers, malfunctioning thermometers, and faulty heating trays all add up to food that's not held at safe temperatures. In the world of fast food, a few degrees can mean the difference between a quick bite and a gastrointestinal apocalypse. But sanitation is only half the story. What about the nutritional value, or lack thereof? Taco Bell's menu is a masterclass in salt, fat, and sugar synergy. One Crunch Wrap Supreme packs 1,200 milligrams of sodium. That's over half your recommended daily limit in one item. A combo meal? You could be pushing 2,000. And that's before you even consider those Diablo sauce packets that taste like regret and salt water. Taco Bell's cheesy menu staples are also fat bombs in disguise. Nachos Bel Grande? Nearly 40 grams of fat. The Quesarito? A cholesterol-laced wrap of doom? Trans fats? Saturated fats? Hydrogenated oils? All those culinary culprits you've been told to avoid since health class? Yeah, they're hiding in the melted goodness you crave. And if you think the beans will save you, think again. The refried beans aren't just dehydrated paste brought back to life with hot water. They also come laced with sodium and artificial flavors to make them seem fresh. That illusion of wholesomeness is just that, an illusion. Now let's talk sugar. You wouldn't think tacos are sweet, but some Taco Bell ingredients sneak in added sugars for flavor and shelf life. Sauces, tortillas, even some meats, they all contain added sugar to balance out the salt and fat. The result? A bliss point explosion engineered to hijack your brain. That's right. This isn't just fast food. It's hyper-engineered addiction. The combination of salt, sugar, and fat is scientifically designed to trigger dopamine, your brain's reward chemical. It's the same mechanism that makes gambling or scrolling social media so addictive. Your taste buds celebrate, your brain takes notes, and your stomach? It's left cleaning up the mess. Meanwhile, you start craving that taco again a few days later, not because you need it, but because your brain remembers the hit. It's not food, it's edible dopamine, and Taco Bell knows exactly what they're doing. From limited time releases to catchy jingles, bright colored packaging, and those late night hours tailored to post-party munchies, the brand has designed an empire built on instant gratification and repeat business. But when the food is built to addict you and the prep process teeters on unsanitary, the real cost of your taco isn't listed on the menu. It's measured in long-term health risks, unpredictable quality, and a gnawing question. What exactly are we eating? But the risk of contamination isn't just theoretical, it's documented. 
health inspection reports across the country paint a picture that's more horror story than fast food review. In city after city, Taco Bell locations have racked up violations that would make Gordon Ramsay walk out mid-sentence. We're talking rodent droppings on prep tables, flies swarming open food containers, mold in the ice machines. One inspector even found a dead mouse in a storage area. And these aren't isolated incidents. These are patterns. Let's talk temperatures. According to food safety standards, hot food should be kept above 140 degrees Fahrenheit and cold food below 40 degrees Fahrenheit. But Taco Bell has been caught multiple times letting beef sit in the danger zone, that bacteria playground between 40 and 140. At those temps, dangerous bugs like E. coli and salmonella multiply faster than you can say, crunchy taco. Then there's the cross-contamination problem. Workers using the same gloves to handle raw chicken and then prep your burrito. Unwashed utensils used on multiple ingredients. Food stored directly on the floor next to cleaning chemicals. If Taco Bell ever ran a food safety seminar, it would double as a biohazard training course. Let's not forget hand washing, or the lack thereof. Health reports show employees skipping the sink entirely, or using it without soap. One location was even cited for having a broken sink during a lunch rush. That's right. Hundreds of meals were being prepared without a single chance for staff to wash their hands properly. If you've ever wondered why your stomach felt funny after that late-night taco run, well, now you know. And because Taco Bell operates largely under a franchise model, these problems vary wildly depending on who owns the location. Some franchisees cut corners, others cut common sense. The result? Inconsistency in quality, cleanliness, and food safety from one restaurant to the next. You could walk into a pristine Taco Bell in one city and a bacterial Petri dish in another. But here's the real kicker. Even when these issues are reported and corrected, they often come back. Repeat violations are common. It's like the health inspector plays whack-a-mole with expired sour cream and moldy lettuce. Now pair all this with Taco Bell's genius-level flavor engineering. You might think that taste is the last redeeming quality, but even that's designed to manipulate. Their food scientists work with the same principles used in snack food addiction, the bliss point. The exact combo of salt, sugar, fat, and crunch that triggers your brain's pleasure center like a slot machine payout. Bite into that quesadilla and boom, dopamine hit. Crunch that taco? Instant satisfaction. It's food engineered not just to taste good, but to override your natural fullness cues. That's why one taco turns into three. Why you feel bloated but still crave more. You're not eating, you're reacting. And let's be honest, it works. Taco Bell isn't just selling food, they're selling a sensation, a cheap thrill wrapped in wax paper. But when the flavor wears off and the reality kicks in, bloating, regret, and maybe a dash of food poisoning, you're left wondering if that $6 combo was worth the risk. And here's where things get downright dystopian, because all that artificial flavor engineering, all that boil-and-bag efficiency, all that marketing genius wrapped in a tortilla? It's not just about saving Taco Bell money, it's about reprogramming you. Taco Bell's menu isn't designed just to feed you, it's built to hook you. From the very first bite of that cheesy gordita crunch, your brain is under attack. Welcome to the world of Bliss Point Engineering. The exact combination of salt, fat, sugar, and texture that triggers a dopamine release so powerful, it practically overrides your free will. It's the same science used in casinos, only this time, it's stuffed inside a crunch wrap. Every soft tortilla paired with a crunchy shell, every gooey cheese swirl with a hit of spicy sauce, it's all deliberate. Your brain is being lit up like a pinball machine. 
and once it's trained to expect these hyper-intense, artificially boosted flavors, real food starts tasting disappointing. Your home-cooked taco is suddenly boring. Your salad? Forget it. You're chasing that bliss hit like it's fast food fentanyl. Now add artificial scarcity into the mix. Taco Bell doesn't just rotate their menu for fun. They're playing psychological games. The constant limited time offers and discontinued fan favorites like the Mexican pizza? That's how they trigger FOMO, fear of missing out. When the nacho fries return, they're not just selling fries. They're selling urgency, nostalgia, and exclusivity. And just like that, you're back in line again. But it doesn't stop with your taste buds or your calendar. Taco Bell is gunning for your wallet, too. Let's talk combo pricing. Sure, you could buy that crunchy taco a la carte. But why do that when the combo gives you two tacos, a drink, and cinnamon twists for just a dollar more? It feels like a good deal. But suddenly, you're consuming double the calories, triple the sodium, and walking out with a sugary drink you didn't even want. This is the economics of addiction, offering more food than you need for just slightly more cash. That combo meal is a psychological Trojan horse. It sneaks in more food under the guise of value, tricking you into thinking you're making a smart financial move. And the portion sizes? Don't get us started. Some of these burritos could qualify as blunt force trauma weapons. What used to be a snack is now a full-on gut bomb. But it's engineered to feel like a deal, even as it quietly detonates your blood pressure. And here's where it gets even more chilling. Because this isn't just about what happens to you. It's about what happens behind the counter. So let's put it all together. You're being sold highly processed, chemically flavored, industrially reheated food that's designed to addict you by a company that trains your brain, tempts your wallet, and plays fast and loose with food safety, all while wrapping it in a $5 combo and calling it value. This isn't a taco. It's a trap. And unless you know exactly what's going on behind that drive through window, you're not just ordering dinner. You're signing up for a system that profits off your cravings, your ignorance, and your trust. Because at the end of the day, Taco Bell isn't feeding you. It's feeding itself, off you. If this video opened your eyes, smash that like button, subscribe for more deep dives from Frugal Pro, and drop a comment about your last Taco Bell experience. Good, bad, or just plain microwaved because the truth deserves to be served piping hot. Stay smart, stay skeptical, and stay frugal.